What's up guys, it's Cam here at All Things Automotive. Sorry about that, I almost dropped the camera. Uh, today we have a 2015 Nissan Altima 2.5 liter SL trim. Uh, one owner, no accidents, 19,593 on the odometer. Color is pearl white and it has a charcoal weather interior. We're gonna do a little walk around here just so you can see the full picturing of the car. Nice looking wheels here. I don't see any curb brush, has continental uh, Connie Pro Contacts on it. As anybody knows, Continental tires are very good tires. So we'll go ahead and just open the door here for the uh, passenger side. Let you look in. Has leather seats. Almost look more like black than charcoal colored, but a nice little trim on the dash. Nice little inlay on the door. Window locks. Alright, hop in the passenger side door here in the rear. Does have AC, looks like in the back, AC vents in the back in the center console. Kind of let you look at the door here as well. Again, Continental tires in the rear. Nice looking Ultima though. I don't know if this one does have a button back here. Does have a backup camera too, right up above where the license plate mounts. It's a lot of trunk room in here, especially if you have kids, want to take a day trip or something, have younger kids. Um, this has the Ultima mat in it. Also has, if I can get it open. Maybe. Um, underneath here is where your spare stuff should be at. Yep, tools are there with the jack and the spare is underneath. I don't know if you can see it underneath there but it is underneath there okay shut that again um gas caps on the driver's side but we have the continental tire on the left rear as well but you look in the driver's side rear leather seats in the back fold down cup holders i believe in the rear Driver's side, left front, also has a continental tire. We'll go ahead and hop in here, guys, and uh, take a gander so we can give you the full inside features. Um, driver's side door has your mirror controls up top, window lock, um, door lock, and window controls. Oh. Try to fit in this car. So right here looks like a dimmer switch um, and your trip reset buttons and stuff like that for your dash. Also has drink button here and traction control button right there. Uh, don't know where the keys are right here. It says keyless start. Um, has a start button right here. You just have your foot on the brake and the car will start. Oh, first thing was on. So as you can see right there's the miles, 19,593. Um, right here is your control buttons for your sources on this. So you can, uh, oh, I have to close the door. Give me one second here. So if you have the radio on, okay. So as you can see, as long with there and on the radio, it changes when you hit the source button to select your type of radio you have. So there's your FM1, FM2, and I believe if you hit this up and down, it changes your radio stations. So, so I'm not sure what that one does. But here's your cruise controls. Actually, let me go ahead and shut this car off. So here's all your cruise control buttons. Uh, your cancel if you're going too fast and you just want to slow down. Um, your acceleration is up, reset if you uh, get slowed down a little bit and you want to go back to where you're previously going at. Coast set, on and off for cruise, and your phone button here. Um, I actually just want to turn this on so I can show you the dash. There we go. All right, so here's all your presets. It does have XM radio, um, so you hit your XM button. Um, AM FM button media button is for your phone and stuff like that um, this goes back to your shuts your display off actually volume controls um, preset radio switches 
um, your seek buttons to go through your radio options. Also, it looks like you can use this if you have your phone linked with Bluetooth um, to go through your apps, and then you can hit this to go back. Oop. You can use that to go back if you have your phone linked up. Um, enter, so you can scroll through your settings, I believe. Um, all your standard kind of AC controls, front and rear defroster, um, cold air, hot air. This is how you turn it on and off. Fan adjustments to go up and down. Um, your settings for your AC, like your feet, your defrosters, or not your defrosters, your feet, your uh, top vents, stuff like that. AC button. Um, those have dual climate control, so driver side and passenger side. Um, has heated seats as well. I don't know if you can see that right here, but here's your, sw your switch for your driver's side, um, low or high. Middle is off. Same thing for passenger side, standard kind of uh, shifter for you. And the middle has a top tray. So if you put your important stuff up there, and then it should open the bottom as well. So it has a bigger center console in it. It does have Bose audio in this as well. I don't know if I had said that before. Um, this is also your four-way button as well right there. All right, we're getting hot now. Try to see if we can find any uh, paint chips or anything like that for you. We'll start here at the left front bumper. Just do a kind of walk around. See if we get any good looking uh, paint marks. I don't believe it is. This car is actually in really good shape. Not seeing anything guys looks really good nothing on the doors nothing on the doors it's good the trunk lid looks really good looks but like they just took the plastic off of it not seeing any uh, apologies guys looks really good um the mirrors even look there's no bug marks or nothing on the mirrors it's kind of really interesting so hey guys if you uh, have any questions about this car feel free to give us a call at 717-485-4224 option one is sales again i'm cam hope you have a wonderful day